God is so faithful. And, uh, oh, I want to make, I want y'all to, I've been real strong on tithing lately and offerings and stuff. Because what I did, I read Malachi 3 several times. And I thought, oh, my, maybe some of our folks don't realize what God thinks about tithes and offerings. And I don't want anybody to be misled. But all people, I heard this week somebody had said that if you're not a tither, you're not welcome here. Listen, if you want to go to church here and you're not a tither, we welcome you and want you to be here because eventually you'll get revelation of it. That's, I've never said that. I'll never say it. All I said is if you progress to where you operate on the platform as a leader, it wouldn't be right to have you leading people and not fulfilling that portion of obedience to God. That's all I ever said. And because uh, and I want you blessed. And God said, look, that's the only place in the Bible. He said, test me and try me. If you'll just bring your tithes and offerings in, I'm going to pour you out a blessing you cannot contain. So don't, ever, don't listen to anybody if they say that I said you're not welcome here if you're not a tither. Uh, you're welcome here, but you're not welcome here if you're a gossip. <laughs> um, is that clear enough? I'd rather have a non-tither than a gossiper. So, so uh, let's just remember that. There's some changes coming. There's change in the air, guys. It ain't like it used to be. God is changing the way we look at things on a daily basis. Don't get hung up in your past life. Let's go with God today. God is on your side. And He'll help you. Uh, I never said that you had to come in here and... And uh, some people think they have to, if they don't have a lot of money to give, it ain't giving. If you've got 20 cents to give and you give it from your heart, start right there. And let God begin to encourage you and bless you with it. And He will. So uh, I, I just want that clear. Uh, everyone's welcome here if they got a good heart. But some people you know, misunderstand, don't they? So don't get a misunderstanding about that. We Everything's good here. God's blessing this church. You are the church. But I believe in 2010, you're still going to walk in the greatest blessing you've ever had. And, uh, and I believe that with all of my heart. So do you all want to make the declaration tonight? Oh, uh, where's Becky at? Oh. She said, she came up to me out there at the coffee bar. She said, that declaration's working. Said, I got a check in the mail. And, uh, of course, she works with the, uh, the Cochlear implant people and went and did a, demo, uh, a speech or talk in Las Vegas or somewhere, wasn't it? California. Well, it was close. I mean, it's only an hour till away. And uh, in California, and so they paid her way and paid the room and did all that. Well, she got a check in the mail this week and uh, said from here down to the airport or Phoenix, 187 miles, and they paid her 55 cents a mile, nearly $200, wasn't it? $220, $200. That she got in the mail, she didn't know she was going to get. We're still getting checks in the mail. We sold that house after all those years. I wonder why it didn't sell earlier. Maybe I wasn't in faith. I don't know, but it sold. And uh, they said we'd, they made me pay the taxes and insurance again when I closed. And we'd already escrowed it. And so uh, they said you'll get back $2,000 from the mortgage company. Well, I just was riding along yesterday, and I thought, I'll just call the mortgage company. See how much money I'm going to get back and just kind of nudge them a little. I'd like to have it now. You know, it's my money. I want it now. So uh, one of them kind of things. And they ride you for 30 days. The market, they, they keep that money for about 30 days before they pay you back. And uh, so uh, I said, I told them who I was, give them my Social Security number and everything. And, and they said, yes, Mr. Boyne said, we show your notes paid in full. I said, well, how much money are you all going to send me back on that escrow? 
And see, they said at closing is going to be $2,000. And they said it's going to be $2,750. I said, checks are coming in the mail, another seven fifty dollars over what we even expected. Now, I'm telling you, the declaration works. Amen? Praise the Lord God Almighty. Just test him and try him with a little something. Let him get active in your life. Validate him. Do this. When you come and you give from your heart, it's not just giving and throwing something in a plate. It's giving from your heart and, uh, and giving unto the Lord like that. And, and when you do, expect God to bless you so you can be a greater blessing this coming year. Okay, everybody say 2010 is going to be the greatest year that I've ever lived in. The blessing of God is going to come back on every wave because I'm a child of God. I have covenant rights. I stand up tonight and I make declaration that my God honors His Word. So I honor Him with my obedience. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, let's do the other one. As we give today's offering, jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, settlements, estates and inheritances, interest, income, rebates, returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money, bills paid off, debts demolished, royalties received, Supernatural increase on investments made. It's offering time. Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Man, it's kingdom time. Bobby Padilla, would you and your wonderful wife come up here at the front? Uh, Miss Sheila, y'all can break a minute. Come up here at the front. Come up here at the front. Y'all can fin while I'm speaking, y'all can finish that conversation. Yeah. I don't mind y'all talking. Talk. I'm gonna be talking. Y'all can talk too. <laughs> 